Okay, Pepperheads, once again, this is Slade. Uh, I've done a uh, review a few hours ago. It was the uh, Yellow Scorpion Cardi that I've done. And um, now I'm, I'm really excited about this. Um, my, I've got a bunch of plants growing, and it just seems like everything is taking so long to ripen up. Uh, we had rain non-stop for over a week now, hardly any sunshine. Um, I've had some peppers that are in that turning stage, but just hadn't yet turned. But uh, today I was out there messing around uh, between little rainstorms, and I found a orange habanero that's off of one of my very own plants, and I'm real excited about this um, because. Um, it's my own grown pepper mm -hmm. and uh, so I decided to do a second review for the day um, as before you know I got my trusty toothpicks I hate stuff in my teeth as y'all well know by now um, and my trusty blade so let's cut into this thing and see how it goes Ah, uh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Well, the seed's real tiny in there. And I don't know if it's overripe or just too ripe or whatever, but they've kind of uh, got a dark brown almost blackish color to some of them so but y'all know me I'm going to cut the seeds out of this thing and um and eat it um because the rest of the pepper looks really really good um and you know going on the advice of other uh chili heads and that especially guys that do reviews you always cut your peppers open to make sure there's no worms or anything like that in there. Get that little bit of black out right there. I guess they just that one there got a little overripe. I haven't been able to get out in my garden pad for about three days now because of all of the rain. And uh, I had some okra on some plants that were like seven inches long, man. and. You just can't eat okra when it's that big because it's so, so tough. But, um, well, there's a lot of placenta in there. Um, there's a medium amount of seeds, but they're real tiny, and 90% of them are just black. So, Without asking a bunch of dumb questions and everything, I'm just going to jump to the conclusion that it's just overripe. It was real, real crunchy to uh, uh, cut. So, and yeah, I know a habanero is nowhere near hot as some of the peppers that I've been trying. So I'm going to try to eat the whole thing, or I'm not going to try to eat it. I'm going to eat it. Get my toothpick ready because I know I will be picking my teeth. So quit, quit talking and start eating. Hmm. Real nice flavor. Real nice aroma. A little sweet. Mm, mm, Had a very good flavor to it. Then the jalapeno, or not the jalapeno, the, the actual habanero flavor kicked in. 
Here we go. I always get something stuck in my teeth. Got a nice heat heat to it. A little bit on the tongue, mostly right here in the throat. It's not near as hot as uh, the peppers I've been eating the past couple of days. But it's got a nice little bit of heat to it. It shouldn't give me the hiccups. Um, but hell, some peppers give me the hiccups and some don't, so I don't really know. Um, it's not an overbearing heat, but it's definitely a good burn. Nothing like that uh, scorpion cardi that I had earlier. And here I go rubbing my eyes again. I haven't gotten anything in it yet. But I'm clumsy like that. I'm probably sure I probably will. Anyway, that's that was just a good, good pepper. It was. The heat's leveled out. Um I like that burn. A little bit on the tongue, a little bit on this side of my mouth here, on the left side. I seem to do all my chewing on that side. I don't know why. But most of the heat's concentrated right at the top of the throat. But uh, great pepper. I love that flavor. A lot better than that white bullet habanero I had the other night. I don't know if that thing just wasn't ripe yet or not, but boy, I'll tell you what, it just had that real green um, type pepper flavor, if you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, I give my own self a thumbs up here on the heat and flavor. That was good. I have five Bootsalokia plants growing all reds and uh, I really hope that uh, the pods that are on there um, ripen well because like I said we haven't had very much sunlight and an awful awful amount of rain um, and right now I don't have anywhere indoors to uh, put plants so I really hope that they're not getting overwatered. But all of the plants, <coughs> all of my Bootsalokia plants, man, I'll tell you what, they are full of pods. I'll guarantee you on one plant I got 40 or 50 pods. All about this size to that size are not very uniform, but from what I hear, that's, uh, that's okay. My habaneros are doing good. I had a couple of white bullet habaneros. I got some Hungarian hot wax and some hot bananas and regular bananas and jalapenos. Uh, speaking of jalapenos, I got some purple jalapenos in. I'm going to be doing a review on those. Um, what I might do is get one of my habanero, one of my jalapenos that I'm growing, just a standard store bought habanero or jalapeno and eat that and then later on do another video with the purple jalapeno, jalapeno and just see how that is but uh... yeah this is a good pepper heat starting to go away so real pleased with that really really pleased with that um, well i'm gonna end this one and uh... thanks again for watching my videos please subscribe like and share also, uh, those of you seeing my videos, just to throw this in there, 
I watch a lot of folks videos uh, about eating hot peppers on here um, the Italian uh, Rick Hess uh, uh, T. Mutter um, wow who else um, Freestyle, Comp, Comp Modder, Hendrix, you know, The Baptist. I watch all these guys' videos, and I'm putting their uh, links in the descriptions below, um, so you can see everybody else's videos and not just mine, because I really appreciate what these guys are doing. <coughs> and uh, trust me, they do a lot better job at reviews than I do. So with that, I'm going to end this thing. Have a great evening. Peace. And I'll catch you all on the flip side.